Hello, and welcome everyone to this new video uh, of iPad Only Book with the co-authors, Michael Slowinski. And Augusto Pinat. And in this video, we are going to talk about three little things. One, that it will change a lot of things for you, that is learning to single task. And then a couple of tricks that will help you with this single tasking. And one about your browser, because most of us spend our life in the internet. And the other one is using a little thing that every iPad had that is called guide access, that it will help you if you, like me, are really easy to distract person. But let's start with single tasking. Yeah, the thing is that, uh, you know, um, I think women are better at this, at, at multitasking and, and, and not single tasking, because they are, you know, they have to deal with so many things at once. But actually, nobody can really multitask. We can, you know, multi-change quickly to single tasking. And with the iPad, the temptation is lower because all the apps open at full screen. So, for example, our favorite word, edit, I mean, text editor, by word, uh, is actually, you know, just a full screen of text, nothing, nothing more. I mean, there are actually no buttons there or anything else. And, and as, you, as you always uh, used to say, you have an option, you can type or not to that. I mean, you can write or not write. And then this is the only option you have. You, you don't have any other option. And with word processors or, or text processors on the Mac, you have many options. You can play with so many things before you actually commit to writing. That is just, you know, crazy. So, for example, in my case, uh, my wife always uh, used to laugh at me when I was trying to talk to her while doing something. She was like, Michael, stop. You, I mean, I know, we know, we both know you cannot multitask. So just, you know, focus, look, at, look at me. Let's talk right now. So <laughs> she would be like that. And she was really right. That's why, for example, when I moved to the iPad, I learned to really, you know, work distract free, really to focus on what I was doing, like writing our book. I would just sit there, open the iPad, and just focus on just writing, writing, and writing. It was really, really great. Yeah, it is exactly. I learned specifically how to single task uh, in a browser before I even moved to the iPad. And, and I tell the long story on my TEDx talk, but but what I discovered was we go and lose hours on the web because we don't notice how fast we can go from working on a web browser and then changing to look something on Amazon. And we do that because it's just command T and then you are gone and it's so quick that you don't give your brain the chance to notice it, that it's getting distracted. And what I did with that was that I learned to use two different browsers, one for work and one for play. And I never said I, can, I wasn't allowed to play. I just said I was not allowed to play on the work browser. And is that little change enough to bring my brain into conscious and then make a conscious decision if I'm going to just go in Amazon to buy whatever crossed my brain, or if I'm going to say, no, let me write it down and then finish this that I'm doing for work before I really go and play. And it has changed everything. And it's been the fundament of how I learned to single task. But, it's, but even with single tasking, I am, I get really easily distracted. I am diagnosed with HDHD and other stuff. And I can really make a noise behind my back and I will get distracted and I don't know what happened, okay? And my wife makes fun of me because I, she can come home and if I'm not paying attention, there will be many things half done around the house. And the reason is simple. I start doing it and something happened. I get a noise, phone call, and a new idea, get distracted and never finish. And on the iPad, there, if you go to settings, accessibility, you're going to discover a little thing called guide access. And guide, eyes, guide, guide access basically was designed for kids and people with disabilities to force them to stay on one screen. And the interesting thing is if you activate it, you can only get out of that screen typing a password. With that, Typing that password is enough to bring you back into conscious to decide if you're really going to stop doing what you're doing or not. 
And especially in those days that I'm working and I'm really distracted and it's hard for me to focus, it's the moment to activate guide access because then every time I get distracted and hit the home button, I will just get saying, you cannot do that unless you put the password. And it's that little clue enough to keep me working long enough on whatever I'm working to actually finish and get rid of it. Yes, it's this barrier of entry. You, I mean, for you to, to, to go to a different screen would be very very easy just to click on the home button. But then you have to type the password. So like, uh, okay, let's continue what I was doing. It's, it's, uh, when, I, when I was, you know, in, uh, talking to some coaches, productivity coaches, they would, they would say that, for example, when, when they noticed that somebody was using something for fun instead of working and they had really problems, you know, getting there, what they would do is they would just bury this thing in, in, like very deep in their computer. So they would have to go to, a, you know, like 15 folders back to, 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 to get to this place. So they wouldn't go there because at, 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 the, at the fifth folder, they were like, okay, let's go back to work. They, you know, they would just give up. The problem with that that you just mentioned on the iPad is that between multi-gestures and search, even if I bury the thing, I will be able to find it really, really quick. So that's where guide access really make a huge difference for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this, this is it. I mean, iPad, I mean, if you're really, yeah, if you're really hard to focus, you, have, you can use guided access. But even without it, the iPad, because of the screen, because of the, uh, you know, of the paradigm that there's always one app at a time, helps you really to focus and to really get things done um, it's easier and, 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 and nicer. And you really don't need all these, you know, things and, the, you know, all these windows and everything. This is what I discovered when I was working from the iPad. And we'll talk more about this and about all these Windows notifications uh, in a different video uh, of the iPad-only book. Thank you very much. Thank you.